Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do an eye off. A head to head challenge using eyes. You know what I mean. So we're going to use the Ocalon Amazonian Clay Palette against the Tardius Pro Palette. So what's the difference? Um, or what's the same? So the we'll go with the Ocalon. The Ocalon is lightweight. It is cardboard. It's got a nice mirror on the inside and it's got some beautiful colors. Now let's look at the Tardius Pro Palette. The Tardius Pro Palette is um, a lot more, the, uh, the exterior is nicer. It's got a ginormous mirror and it also has these lovely colors. How do the colors stick stand up next to each other? Overall really well. Um, I think they're, they're off Oh, in exact matches. They're not an exact match. I've seen dupes match up much closer than what these match up, but I think they're close enough that you're not going to be able to tell which eye is which eye. So I did use the Tardius Pro on one side and I used the Ocalon Amazonian Clay Palette on another. So which eye do you think I used what on? Which is it? Is it this? Or is it this? It's actually this. So now, as far as the, the products go, how did I like them? Um, the Ocalon went on really nice. It's got some good pigmentation. So does, obviously, the Tarte. Tarte has some great pigmentation also. They both have about the same pigmentation overall. The colors are just slightly off, but on my eyes, I can't really tell that big of a difference once I got them in place. Now, as far as the Ocalon goes, I did get some of the fallout in my eye and my eye did not like it. So I'm not sure where this was made. I know it says that it was imported and distributed by Ocalon Cosmetics in Los Angeles. So depending where this was actually made, that could be my issue. I'm, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm having some issues with stuff that eyeshadows that are done across the seas. Um, I'm not having trouble as much stateside. So I'm not sure what that is. It's actually, and thank God for my sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom, because she's the one that pointed it out. She was like, Amy, do you realize that when you use a certain name brand, if the pack if the products was made overseas you have trouble with your eyes and until she pointed it out i didn't realize it so that's why i had to look on the back of this one to see and of course it was imported so that makes sense so my eyes started watering and i lost the color up underneath here you can kind of see where i've already rubbed it off and it's bare the colors are barely hanging on in the middle but you know that's that's okay that's okay so for this one, um, it was actually made in the USA. And again, as I was putting it on, I didn't, it didn't start my, my eyes watering. So for whatever reason, again, I just have trouble with stuff that is manufactured outside the United States. It's just weird. Anyways, if you don't have very sensitive eyes like I do, um, I would say the, Amazonian clay palette is a really good palette for the price as far as the for me I, I'm gonna have to stay more with the Tardius Pro palette because again it is stateside and I don't have the issues with my eyes so if I'm purchasing it I'd have to go Tardius Pro which I did purchase both of these but if I was doing it as a normal consumer I would have to go with the Tardius Pro to get these colors versus going a little more inexpensive and um, getting the Ocalon. So I do like the fact that Hush, Shop Hush, is um, has some amazing dupes that allow women and men to be able to create beautiful looks at a um, cut price. The other thing that I was cracking up about is all the names on the inside of the Ocalon Amazonian palette, exactly the same. Like they didn't even try to like do a different name. Exactly the same. So that kind of cracked me up. Probably not in the nicest way. But I mean, I was just dying laughing because every single one of these names are in this palette 
in the same exact spot. So you want to talk about trying to do a, a dupe. Heck, they didn't even come up with creative names to at least, you know, make it look like they weren't doing a dupe. But anyways, so I did find humor in that, which I find humor in most things that people don't find humor in. It's just how I roll. But anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye look, and again, this is the Ocalon side, and this is the Tardius Pro side, stay tuned. Okay, this morning we are going to do the Tardius Pro against Ocalon's Amazonian clay palette. So I was cracking up because I opened up this morning the Tardius palette and you know it is absolutely gorgeous and so I was looking at some of the names like if I'm gonna try to turn this so you don't get as much flashback um you know we've got the color indie bold edgy punk and trendy and again this palette is pretty I mean look at all these colors just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so then I opened up Ocalon's clay palette and was looking at those colors in comparison. Very close in colors. These are still slightly off, but the color indie, bold, edgy, punk, and trendy, they didn't even try to change the names. They just went ahead and used the same names. So we're going to go ahead and create a look with the Ocalon Amazonian Clay Palette against the Tardius Pro Palette and see what we come up with. But, I mean, come on now. If you're going to do a dupe, I get it. But change the names at least, right? Alright, so I think I will start out with the color Indie as our base. It's got some fallout. Woo! <clears throat> and it looks like we've got some pigmentation. That's a pretty color. Hmm. I like that. I'm going to take a fluffier brush and kind of blend those edges out. This is already going on really nice. I think I'm going to pick up the color Fierce, which is this one right here. really nice. I'm going to go in with the color, I think, Vamp. I'm using a flat brush and a bit of concealer. I'm going to go ahead and carve out a bit of a cut crease. I'm going to pick up this color, Minx. And then on the other side of that flat brush, I'm going to pick up this color called Glam. And then I flipped over that brush that has some Minx on it, and I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Okay, I'm going to give that eye a rest for a moment, and we're going to pick up the Tardius Pro and do a little recreation on this side. Again, we're going to start out with the color Indie. I didn't do that Indie like that on my eye. Come on now, Amy. All right, so we're already starting with pigmentation. Let's go ahead and sweep this out. I was really... Um, impressed with how the Ocalon blends so nice. Okay, and then I picked up. I need to look. I need to look at my cheat sheet. Okay, this color Fierce. I would say they both palettes have about the same fallout. the color vamp. I would say the vamp in the Tardius Pro is more pigmented. A little bit darker. Maybe not pigmented, just a darker color. Alright, 
Then we are going to, on this side, go ahead and carve out a bit of a cut crease. We're going to use <clears throat> the color Minx. Minx on the Tardiest Pro side, I like much better. Good morning. Yay, it's coffee time. And breakfast. Thank you. We'll leave Roscoe with you. Okay. Okay, then we're going to pick up the color Glam. And I did not do the brow bone, so I'm going to pick up the color Classic over here. I'm going to pick up the Classic on this Ocalon. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I can't remember how long I've had this, but this is the Tardiest um, Pencil and Liquid. I haven't used this in a long time. So we're gonna see how this goes. I don't know why I haven't used this more. Dang. Was I thinking this is a nice one I think I remember now why it's starting to already travel on in my creepy piece so I'm gonna pick up some of the color punk I try to cover that stop that from traveling okay so it doesn't work on my inner corner as well and since I kind of stopped that with some powder, I'm going to go ahead and pick back up the concealer. There, we magic erased it. Now I remember why. Dang, that went on so nice though. Why does it have to not work on creepy eyes? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go with some mascara. I've never used the Falsies Push-Up Drama. I don't know why. I think I was planning on doing a video on it and I got sidetracked. Okay, that was one coat. Not bad. Ends up a little clumpy on a second round. But who am I kidding? I like thick eyelashes. I'm gonna pick back up this palette. Now that my eyes have calmed down a little bit, and I'm gonna pick up the color Vamp. I'll wipe off that brush, so I'm using the same size brush underneath. And we're going back to the Tardiest Pro, picking up Vamp. My eyes do not like the Ocalon and start watering again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and push on with the Push Up Drama Mascara. Oh, Amy. I'm gonna go ahead and let these other little ones dry. As I'm doing my hair, I'm gonna let these other little bits dry that flicked off my mascara and then I'll be back. Thank you so much for joining today as I squared off the Ocalon Amazonian Clay Palette against the Tardius Pro Palette. So which one did you like better? Can you tell a difference? Well, I guess you can now because it's the end of the video, so you should know which eye is which eye. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.